Let's get started. Take a moment right now to consider how you yourself feel. Tired? Listless? Devoid of purpose? Drifting? Tongue like sandpaper? That's a hangover, most likely, but it could be how you feel in general, as well as how you feel this morning as a result of last night. And the chances are you caned it last night because of this general feeling. You, like so many others in broken Britain, have lost your way. Which is why I've written, well, dictated, be reasonable, this book, Think Yourself British. Because thinking yourself British is the key. Who knows more about keeping the backbone straight and the upper lip stiff than we British? Who is better at putting a brave face on things and repressing our real feelings than us? Who can meet triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same like we can? I.e. with the help of a beautiful British beer and perhaps with more cheering when it's a triumph and more swearing and punching things when it's a disaster. Answer, no one. The sooner we can get more people thinking more British, the better it will be for everyone. And I'm not talking about some Jamie Oliver style scheme where you get your mate to eat a courgette and then tell everyone about it in the hope that the population of Rotherham will start to shop at Sainsbury's. No, I'm talking about something that might actually be of some use. Anyway, if you want to know more, you're going to have to buy the bloody book, aren't you? So click on the thing now. Go on, click it.